Salam and welcome back to Super Zombie Player. I have very fabulously descended upon these beavers and I'm going to buy a shine sprite now. What? No, what? Uh, are they currency? Or are they energy sources? Or what exactly are they that this dude can just sell them, but also they're like crucial to the survival of the Pianta? I don't fully understand what shine sprites actually are. Because maybe they're like an energy source because the enemies are kind of holding them hostage, it seems like. Right? Unless they're not. I'm not totally clear on how this works, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it in this game that is so many years old. Uh, oh well. Yeah, they must be an energy source. If the enemies have them and they're so important to the people here. And like, Shine Gate is a giant shine sprite, and like, it's covered in that paint stuff and everything's gone to hell, so maybe... I don't know, maybe it's like a solar energy conduit thing? But then why... I don't know, they have like a, a feeling of currency about them, the way that you earn them and collect them. But... I guess not, because coins are cur- Oh no! The adorable sunflowers! I will save you, adorable sunflowers. This is so sad. Oh no. What are these eggs? What the hell? How do I... Can I squish you? Nope. <laughs> nope. There we go. Oh, for real? Okay, that's good. I was worried you were actually for real dead, which would have been really sad. Oh, oh no, they're so sad looking. I'm sorry. I'll save you. They're so cute. I want 20. <laughs> you gonna... Yep. Oh. I don't know why I tried to roll dodge. This is not a game in which that is a possibility. <laughs> I wonder why the eggs... Well, not eggs, I guess they're not eggs. The, like, turtle dudes are affecting sunflowers so far away from their physical place. Maybe it's like some kind of acupuncture reflexology thing <laughs> with the sand. Like, you know, you poke one thing, but it affects a different place entirely. What is this reflexology? It's something about, like, your whole body is mapped out on your foot, so, like, you can poke a certain part of your foot and it will, like, heal your neck pain or something. I don't know how it works exactly. If that's- if that's a true- a, tr a true thing that really works, that sounds... awesome. No, don't do that! No, I need to- They got, like, weird fluffy dog ears and also look like Yoshi eggs, but are also turtles. I don't- What are you? <laughs> I wonder if those enemies have a name. And if so, what is it? Oh, they're so adorable! And the sound they make when they wake up! Oh god! <laughs> I am a sucker for cute things. You should hear how frequently I just have to stop and squeal at my cat, because she's just too damn cute. <laughs> I'll put up a picture of my adorable cat for, for, the, for the YouTubes to enjoy. There's also a whole entire video of just footage of her doing stuff on my channel somewhere if you want to dig for it. Ow, meanie! Jerk face. Steal your coin. I take your life. Well, that was pretty low key. <laughs> After that red coin mission fiasco. I don't need to save every time. It's fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right? Watch. The console is gonna. Oh! Oh no, it's time to unlock Yoshi! Oh good! Very good. Where are you? Stop posing! Nobody- You don't need to fix your hair, you're gonna put a hat on it anyway. No one ever sees your damn hair. Where is Shadow Mario? The mysterious mustachioed man has been seen running about to town holding an egg-like object. <laughs> The mustache man is also the primary 
suspect in the recent kidnapping of Princess Peach of the... Wow, this is obnoxious to read. Um, wait, so they know who Peach is. They're aware. So they must know who Mario is. So they must know that he's a hero. So why did they automatically assume that he did this? Ow. Like, none of this adds up, man. They, they know about Peach, so they have to know about Mario. Because you can't know about the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom and not know about the hero, right? There's no way. Where did he go? Is he back on the roof? What? What? Where did you go? Sir. Sir. Sir, excuse me, sir. Sir, I believe that's mine. Sir. You, you, you are holding my pet hostage. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, you need a baniner. Let me get you a baniner. Where do I get a baniner? Um... An, 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 oh, hey, hello. I got a nanner. It's in my nose. Do you see the banana? Well, my nose is in the banana, I guess. Does the fruit you give it determine the color it is? I think. You befriended you, should make him eat with B. I'm gonna say it for that one. <laughs> um, notice how his juice thingy is a stomach. So he's literally just vomiting. Oh, it does. The fruit he eats affects his color. Yay! And he can do that flutter kick situation. And I'm not sure exactly how the color works here because I just ate a green fruit and I turned pink, but you know, whatevs. Can he not walk on the thingamajigs? I guess not. The thingamajigs, you know, the tightropes that I was referring to as thingamajigs. How do I get up? I have to get on the roof and eat that giant pineapple. Because for some reason there is a pipe leading to a hotel on top of a roof of a building. <laughs> Ooh, or I can go over there first. I will do that. I will do that thing. I will go there first. And... <laughs> oh, it's a blue coin. Rad. I thought it was gonna be like a secret level thingy, but no. Yep, let's vomit on things to make them go away. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> You're emptying Yoshi's stomach contents onto various objects. Nom. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take much effort for Yoshi to swallow that entire pineapple. He didn't even chew it, he just like... put it away somehow. The Manta Storm. Ooh. Oh, right, this is the one with the beautiful sunset on the beach. I quite enjoy this area of the game, partly because- or probably because it is a beautiful sunset beach. And I'm a fan. Oh. Oh yes. Electrified sludge. Wonderful. This is another one of those stages where I was a f stupid, stupid fool and I went everywhere and I could not figure out what I was supposed to be doing. Um, I don't actually remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I supposed to just clean off the hotel so it can grow back? Or do I have to clean off all of the sludge? I don't recall. I guess I will- wow. Oh, that coloring is oof. <sighs> it's just the way it's lit. It makes it look a little vibrate -y. Huh, that's suspicious. Owie! Okay, ow. Okay, ow. Am I supposed to go in the water? Does that bring them out? Maybe? There's a way to trigger the bite. I can't remember what it is. Maybe I have to clean all of the sludge. Maybe that's how I trigger the fight. God damn it. Get out of the water. We're not here to have fun, Mario. We're here to do a job. You know, Mario's supposed to be a plumber. But really the only time he's ever actually plumbed anything, or like, alluded to actually being a plumber, is in the Super Mario Bros. Super Show and in the movie. Like, in the games, he's never once done anything plumberly. 
The only thing is that he wears overalls, I guess, and he goes in pipes. But those pipes often have killer carnivorous plants in them, so... Ouch, Kadoodles. So, I mean, why even give him the title of plumber when he's clearly not a, a plumber? You should be dead. You're swimming in electrocuted goop, and how are you not dead right now? I can't even touch the stuff. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my god, she's adorable. Did you see that adorable little seashelled creature? Are you, are you, are you her husband? Ooh, both of them get blue coins. Nice. Look at him, his eyes half-lidded like that. He's like, yeah, nice. Um, I think, I mean, the arrows point... Do I have to talk to the guy? Is it that simple? Oh, please tell me my number is... You look very capable to me. Is it... What? Paper thin, are you for real? Oh, the horror! Ah! Now I've got the staff cleaning up, but where's my hotel? That's... I... I just had to talk to him. See, I made the same mistake that time, too. <laughs> well, whatever. I figured it out eventually. And we will fight this sucker next time. We? Who's we? It's just me sitting in my living room. Peace, love, and geekdom. Goodbye!